Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And for this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name and say ok. Now to design this kind of part, first you create all add material features and then you go for remove material feature. So let's start this part with this base and for this go to extrude, onto top datum plane, normal. Now draw a center rectangle like this. Now this is 42 and this is 120. Say OK. This is 10 and say OK. Now the next feature is this feature and for this go to extrude, select this surface, normal, draw the circle somewhere here. Now this is 105 and this is 70, say OK. Now this side it is 6, then go to options, second side, blind, this side it will be 42 and say OK. Now the third feature is this feature and for that go to extrude same plane, normal, go to reference, take this as a reference, draw center line somewhere here, then a rectangle from here like this. Now this is 60, say ok, this is 6, that side, ok. Now the next feature is this feature and for that first you switch on your datum, go for extrude, select this datum, normal. Now you delete this reference, go to reference, select this reference, this reference. Now you draw a circle somewhere here a line from here till here and from here till here, close it, go to delete segment, remove this segment. Now this is 42, this is 14 and this is 6, say ok, make it symmetry. Now this is 67. 32 plus 32 plus 3, say ok. Now the next feature is this rib and for that go to rib, switch on your datum, select this datum plane, normal, draw the sketch from here till here, say ok. This is 6 and say ok. Similarly, one more time rib, again the same datum plane, normal, draw the line from here, this side. Now from here till here it is 20, say ok. Again this is 6, this side and ok. So all add material features are done, now I will create the remove material feature. So my first feature is this feature and for this I will go to extrude, I will select this surface, normal, I will draw a circle like this, line from here this side and from here this side, I will close it, make this two line segment equal, go for delete segment, remove this segment and this segment. Now this is 3. and this is 60, say ok, flip the direction, remove material through all. Now the next feature is this feature and for that go to extrude, select this surface, normal, draw the circle, now this is 12, 
say ok flip the direction make it through all and ok now the next feature is this cutout here and here and for that go to extrude select this surface normal draw center line circle somewhere here mirror it dimension from here till here this is 90 and this is 15 say ok flip the direction say through all and say ok now the next feature is round so go to round select this edge and this edge this is 16 and say ok one more round come to this edge right click and select all four edges at a time this is 6 and say ok and your part is done now if you want to show these dimensions the way it is given here in this model then that is also possible and for that go to annotate and here you can use either show annotation or dimension to highlight these dimensions the way it is given here in this part so if you use show annotation you can call all available dimensions from the part just like this switch on your annotation display all dimensions are coming you can reposition it later on now if you want these dimensions in this orientation then you can do that using dimension but when you use dimension first you need to have a proper orientation for the sketching plane so in this case i need to have this right sketching plane and then i will go for dimension then i can select this edge and this edge and i can place dimension like this now if you want to show this dimension the way it is given here then you need to change the orientation to front orientation then go for dimension switch on your datum select the center axis press and hold control key select the sides and now you can place this dimension the way it is given there so this is how you can create 3d dimension within your part now the same thing can be created for drawing go to the drawing Here you first place isometric view like this, change the scale, now you go to file, prepare, drawing properties, change, find and here you search for 3D this one you make it yes now you go to annotate use show model annotations select the feature one by one and select the dimensions which you want to keep you can reposition it wherever you want and you can add your 3d dimension now to change the appearance go to view appearance select the appearance select the part and select the part edit it select the proper color One more appearance, select intense surface, select the surface and say ok and your appearance got changed. Now save it. So this was the machine part and I hope this video will be helpful. 
Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.